We're here at KingCast.net Motorsports. And today I've had the pleasure of meeting a couple of gentlemen here on the airplane. They are from Demented Cycles. And who do I have before me? I'm Charlie Russell. And that's Kevin Russell. My brother Kevin. Terrific. Now, so you guys, where are you all out of? Bridgeport, Texas. Okay. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, why we should buy a Demented Cycle. Well, it's a... Uh... Well, as you can see, uh, I had a great time with these cats, and uh, we're going to get right back to the story in a minute. But first, I find it almost ironic that that was my favorite bike at Bike Week this year uh, as I distributed uh, Cody Eller information, uh, because that's the kind of bike that they make. And uh, from what I hear, they, they do a great job now. Anyway, I'm not clowning around here. Let me school you on something. Our videos covering the Cody Eller uh, issue are huge, because they document the fact that this young man was originally not charged with first-degree assault. And I think through some of our pressure uh, and through common sense, uh, despite what other people said, uh, I was correct. And now he's fully charged, and we'll see what happens. Now then, back to the story. We're here at KingCast.net Motorsports. And today I've had the pleasure of meeting a couple of gentlemen here on the airplane. They are from Demented Cycles. And who do I have before me? I'm Charlie Russell. And that's Kevin Russell, my brother Kevin. Terrific. Now, so you guys, where are you all out of? Bridgeport, Texas. Okay. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, why we should buy a Demented Cycle. Well, it's a USA, US made product. It's all handmade, custom made, built, ready to ride. Uh, they're just they're beautiful bikes. They're, they're works of art, but yet they're the type of bike that, even though they're a work of art, you still can ride them. I've got an everyday rider that is just a, a phenomenal piece of work. Same as Kevin's. Hmm? Terrific. And uh, what do you have uh, on the landscape right now? How many models do you have? Uh, what's new and exciting? What's been going on? What, and when did you start, by the way? Uh, started this back in 2004 as a hobby in my garage in Hempstead, Texas. Never wanted anything more than just just to build my first and one and only chopper. Just wanted to play with it, and uh, it was worse than a drug because I built that one. And before I got that one finished, I started my second one. And my wife was asking me, "Well, when's it going to stop?" I said, oh, "I'm just going to build these two. And uh, by the time it was over with, I had built the shop in the backyard. We wound up moving to Bridgeport, Texas, and I had a big shop there in the backyard. It was twice the size of what I had in Hempstead. And uh, ran into Melissa Webb, which is our uh, marketing director now. And she came in and said, oh man, you, you, could, you could take this so big. And I said, no, 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 I don't want anything to do with it. It's just a hobby. And about three years ago is when I decided I'm gonna take it and see how far it goes. And since then, we've, we built a bike for Heidi Newfield. We, we're building one for Montgomery Gentry. Uh, several Texas music artists and uh, currently working with Average Joe's uh, as a managing company in uh, Nashville to help us get the get on TV and do different stuff so we're we're, we're working pushing hard and, and since then we've moved into a 4,000 square foot shop and we was in there about a year I guess when that wasn't big enough so we added on to it and uh, now we're in there the other day and it's Started that addition because it's not big enough. It's all, we've already built <laughs> it's it. It's time to so, double, double that yeah. room size. Well, that's terrific, fellas. And I, I guess you guys are using the SNS crate motors and building yep. work on the massage mm -hmm. a little bit. Using SNS crate motors, Baker six speed trannies, uh, Primo drives, Rivero drives. Uh, man, you know, top of the line products that go into the motorcycles. Plus, you know, then we turn around and then we ride the bikes to make sure that they're rideable. And uh, that's what we strive for. We want a good good quality product that you can actually get on and ride. Go go enter it in a, in a bike show, win the show, and then drive it home. That's what that's, we're talking about. Yeah, that's, that's what you want to do. Exactly. Terrific. Well, guys, uh, KingCast.net Motorsports, again, a pleasure to meet you, and I'll be following up with you shortly. It was great, right. Chris. Appreciate nice it. You. Yeah, good luck to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Let's come together. Right there. Three, two, one. Thank <laughs> you.